infrastructure can absolutely let um, add to job creation, which I think is why it's come up in every time the country thinks about a stimulus package. Um, we do know that for every dollar of infrastructure investment, $3 is added to the national GD GDP. Um, and that 1% growth in GDP means 1.5 million jobs. So do the math. The infrastructure will create jobs. Um, and right now, obviously, we need that. We Folks are out of work. Um, and these are jobs that we could be doing now. There is some construction still going on throughout the crisis. Um, with a little bit of infusion of money, once the crisis is over, we can get a lot of people back to work. Everyone generally supports infrastructure spending, but you have to pay for it. Like it's it's not like we just bridges just appear. Um, so in terms of infra highway infrastructure, it's a gas tax, which hasn't been increased since 1993. Um, so you have to increase the gas tax to pay for pay for roads and bridges. Um, water is largely paid for at this by state and local governments, mainly local governments through your water and sewer bills no one wants to raise those. Um, we have airport trust funds and waterway trust funds, but all of those require revenue. And that's a really hard thing for members of Congress to do, uh, is to raise revenue. And so without that and without bipartisan agreement to do it, uh, it, it makes it really challenging um, to get an infrastructure bill through. You've got to pay for it. And members have got to be willing to take that vote. And the public has to understand why they are being asked to pay more. Um, and we don't do a very good job of messaging that in this country, but people have got to understand what the gas tax goes towards and what those water and sewer rates are paying for. Mm -hmm.